Hello, in this demonstration, I am going to show you how you can add additional properties to either a room mailbox or an equipment mailbox after you have created the mailbox. Specifically in this example, I'm going to add additional configuration properties to conference room one. So to do that, I'm going to highlight conference room one and in the action pane, left click on properties. When Conference Room 1's properties appear, I'm going to click on the Resource General tab. And on the Resource General tab, I'm going to start by putting a Conference Room resource capacity in. And our Conference Room supports 12 people, so I type the number 12 in. From here, I'd like to add some resource custom properties to indicate things that are installed in the Conference Room, such as a whiteboard or a video conferencing setup. So if I click on Add, I can go into the Select Resource Custom Properties box, but there are no resources yet. So I'm gonna cancel this, and I'm gonna cancel out of my Conference Room Properties because I need to first add some resources. So as I minimize the Exchange Management Console, I already have the Exchange Management Shell running, and I've got a script in Notepad I've written. I'm gonna copy the first line dollar sign resource configuration equals get dash resource config and I'm going to paste this into my exchange management shell. This is essentially going to get the resource config list and I can now add to it. I'm now going to copy and paste several resources into the exchange management shell and to review them quickly I've got several room resources audio visual, TV, whiteboard, conference call phone, video conferencing, laptop port, and then I've got a couple of equipment resources as well, a projector and a computer. The reason why I'm doing both is I'm gonna show you that the room resources show up on a room mailbox, but the equipment resources are not valid for a room mailbox. The equipment resources are only valid on an equipment mailbox. So if I highlight all of my resources, copy, and then paste those resources into the exchange management shell. I've now added several resources into the exchange management shell. I now need to finalize my schema update by doing a set dash resource config space dash resource property schema space dollar sign resource configuration dot resource property schema. This is finalizing my statement. And if I paste that into the exchange management shell and hit the enter key, I have now added several resources into exchange that I can assign using a room mailbox. So I'm gonna exit out of the exchange management shell and launch the exchange management console again and try this all over. I'll double click conference room one this time, left click on resource general, type in 12 people as a resource capacity, and now I'll click the add button, and now I can add, this room has audio visual, maybe I'd also like to add, it has a laptop port, a conference call phone, a TV, and a whiteboard. And I held the control key as I selected those, clicked okay, and now I've added custom properties. If we click add one more time, notice the equipment resources are no longer present because these resources were defined to be attached to a room, not equipment. If we click OK, we can now continue on configuring Conference Room 1's properties. We'll go to the Resource Policy tab next, and on here, we can choose to allow conflicting meeting requests or not, and I don't want to allow conflicting meeting requests. We can allow repeating meetings. This is somebody that schedules a meeting, for instance, every Monday at 2 p.m., we can allow scheduling only during working hours, or if we leave this unchecked, people can schedule meetings in the evening as well. And we can reject meetings that have an end date beyond the booking window, and I'm going to reject repeating meetings that have an end date beyond the booking window. So my booking window is 180 days. My maximum duration is 1,440 minutes. I allow for zero conflict instances and zero conflict percentage, and I need to specify a delegate of this mailbox by clicking the Add button, and I'm gonna have Izzy Rockstar 
be a delegate of this mailbox. And a delegate is somebody that can oversee the mailbox and approve registrations for those that don't have the permission to register for this room mailbox or this person can also resolve conflict. All meeting requests will be forwarded to the delegates. Next, I'm going to click on the resource in policy request tab. Here I can specify users who are allowed to submit in policy meeting requests that will be automatically approved and I'll leave that as all users but I can also specify who can submit in policy requests that are subject to approval by a resource mailbox delegate. So I'm gonna to add to the list and I'm gonna choose Bobby Rockstar who needs to be approved by a delegate. Perhaps Bobby is an intern and needs to go through the delegate to reserve this conference room. The next step is to click on the resource out of policy requests. And here we're going to specify users who are allowed to submit out of policy meeting requests. And out of policy meeting requests are subject to approval by a resource mailbox delegate. So right now we can add select and recipients that are allowed to schedule outside of policy. So let's click on add and let's just specify that Jeff Smith needs to set up a repeating meeting that lasts an entire year instead of 180 days. So we can add Jeff to the list and now Jeff can schedule out of policy requests because his repeating meeting is going to go for a year. The delegate would just need to approve that. We're now going to click on apply and click on OK. And we have configured our room mailbox to give description of the resources that are present in that room as well as define who can schedule the resource, who the delegate is, and what policies apply for scheduling, for example, 180 days out for repeating meetings. Quickly, we can take a look at an equipment mailbox, the portable projector one, and if we go to resource general here, we can say the resource capacity is one, and if we add custom properties, we have computer and projector as properties for this equipment. And this is an example of the PowerShell commandlets that we ran earlier on. So this concludes my demonstration on how to configure a room mailbox or an equipment mailbox after you have created it initially. This is BrickHouseLabs.com and thank you for watching.